So here I am again in my pajamas in the middle of my bedroom with nothing better to do but to talk about a giant robot because Lord knows I don't have anything else to do. So today, um, well we well we already did something big, then something small, so why not go back to something big? This is Masterpiece Grimlock. Uh specifically this is the uh Toys R Us version, I think it was. Um it's the MPO3 version. I don't have the box anymore, but um yeah, here we have the big old masterpiece, Dino King himself. Uh, getting closer to the details. Look at this noggin. Look at that. Oh, these little ribbons right here. These shiny teeth for the big old munches. That ratcheted neck. And then you got the translucent little bit. Calling back to Diaclone. At least I think it's Diaclone. Was it Diaclone or Microman that this thing was based on? But either way, you got big old translucent neck. A lot of gold chromy bits inside of the neck. Give it a lot of... Um, Strong, good, strong details. Uh, going down to the body, you can see the whole rivet thing in continuing, given the appearance that was made on Earth, because of course he was. And then you got this huge, huge Autobot crest right there. Um, okay, so just as a little gimmick, you see how his eyes are red here? You can actually switch the eye colors by opening this up, and then there's this little turntable in there. You just Turn it around, boom! Now you've got cartoon accurate eyes. I do not like that, so I'm just gonna stick with the red eyes because I think that actually makes him look much meaner. And you know, I love Fallen Cybertron, which I've been replaying the last couple days or weeks, whatever. Still, big old giant bod right there. You got your skinny Malinky arms on a ball joint that no, this side is squeaky. Don't know if you can hear that, but. This one, this one's working just... Okay, this one has a bit more of the squeak, but... It also turns around, you got your elbow, you also got... Uh, little individual claws, and... I think on the original release, these were much sharper, and they just doled it down in later releases, in case it drew blood, I don't know. But then you got these big old honking legs, and, and the golden nappy right there. Again, more translucent plastic, because that's gonna be the chest. And then you can... And of course, the legs are big old gummy ball joints. Uh, swivel, uh, there, there is a double joint, but there's a joint there, and a joint there, for some reason it doesn't go backwards, either way, you got a uh, good range in the leg, so that's good, and you got your little toes and heels, and as for other gimmicks, he can, you know, if you wiggle his tail from side to side, when it wants to work, there we go, we, come on, there we go. Yeah, we're going to tell from side he can move his head and, you know, it's dumb, but... But that's it, it's just dumb. But this is just a really good looking G1 Grimlock. Which, you know, I really, I really do like, because Grimlock's like one of my all-time favorite characters. Oh, little detail right here, you got these rocket boosters. That, well, actually, the hinges for the disguise as rocket boosters, which is kind of cool. And here's something that I never noticed until uh, Baruta Zaro pointed it out in his review. You can actually open up this flap right here, and that's supposed to be a reference to um, his G1 toy with the uh, cockpit in the back of the dino mode that opened up and you could fit a little fella inside. That is actually pretty neat. But, uh, oh, you've also got this little bit of tail moving right here with, with his little silver ass. But otherwise, there isn't much more than this dino mode can do outside of look there, look cool, and just look like Rimlock. Oh, one last gimmick. Ah, uh, you can... Open up his mouth, push your button on the cheek. You got snapping action, and this, and you can see that right there's a little tiny flame from inside, just right there on its own little loose hinge. So that's cool. Now this version of Grimlock does not actually come with the whole waiter set because uh, the original release of uh, Masterpiece Grimlock came with like an apron, a bow tie, and like this tray of drinks as like um as like a callback to a G1 episode in season three. It was it was weird because it was season three, and he even came with like this little intelligence transfer cap thing, which you get you one computer on. You could just put it on top of that, because you, you know in the original in the original episode Grimlock's new brain, he actually created the Technobots. Although, <clears throat> since I'm talking of them, oof, I'll, I'll sort that out later. <clears throat> Got co Combiner Wars Computron there. Let me, let me see how this looks. Because I never put it together. Um, uh, I guess that looks okay. For what it's worth. 
I mean, Grimlock you know, has always been a bigger bot than most sort of bots, so now I'm buying that. And I knocked over a couple of toys up there. I'm gonna have to put them back eventually. But yeah, that's uh, that's just gr that's good old Grimmy's Dino mode. Let's get on to the robot mode. And if you know the G1 toy, you know how he transforms. And it's very rare we ever see a transformation for Grimlock that ever differs from like the original. Uh, first you wanna, well, I basically I like to fold the arms up like this so you know they're out of the way. And then you just press, press split. Split the tail. Let's put the rest of the tail and pull these out. Uh, I'll move. Let me just move these dino arms out of the way. You want to rope. No, let me just get both sides down. You want to rotate the thigh around so this bit is facing forward. Then you close this up. Uh, try straight it out. Then you start. Hang on, I'm trying to get a good shot here. Try to fold this down, fold this in, fold this up, and fold that in, and straighten it out. And you got one leg done. Next side, do the same thing. If you, if I can get a good shot, which I likely won't, but same thing. Fold that. Oh, right. Sorry, this is not doing so well. This is kind of an impromptu video. Fold that up. Uh, then fold this up, fold this in, fold the way, then fold that up, then fold that in, and straighten out. Boom, they got both the legs done. Now we can focus on the upper half, and does this count as a girl walk? No, I guess not. Then you want to open up the chest. Go. I'm on. I can never get my finger out. I can never get this thing open on the first try. <clears throat> there, you split that open. Then you just take the dot head and fold it along what will be Grimlock's back. And there you got the little uh, chest bit right there. That's the head. You fold this up all the way. Then you push up the waist section, which will reveal this all of us. Let me show you. No symbol. Oh, come on. Straight up. Okay, there's no symbol. And then there's symbol. If you can see that. Yep, there it is. Then you just straighten out the hips. Uh, fold these wing bits however you want. Fold down. The arms open up and pull up the fist. Come on, come on. That's the key word for today. Come on, come on. There we are. Close that up. And what I like to just fold these claws down so they're not just sticking up from the wrist. And then open this up. Let me just move around. There we go. That was actually much easier. And bada bing bada boom. There we go. Big old masterpiece Grimlock right there. And he looks amazing. I love the look of this guy. He's, he's like so classic giant dino robot. And yeah, he still feels nice and he still feels fresh. I mean, Transformation for him is kind of bog standard. Tails come legs, arms become well, legs become arms, and then chest to folds up, and you just fold the rest of the dinosaur onto the back. Excuse me. Except this time you don't have to deal with the tails hanging off the side, and he just looks he just looks seems much much bulkier. And you know I always really like Grimlock to be to be the big bulky bot. I don't like him to be I don't like what they did with him in uh, Robots in Disguise, both versions, but. Yeah, this is just oh, <laughs> this is just a nice big hefty Dinobot. Uh, getting him on that head sculpt right there, that is perfectly ferocious Grimlock. And you know, um, the head has the same eye gimmick as uh, Dino Mode. There's this little red flip on the back there, where if you pull this down, <clears throat> and 
Is that, is that the only way? Yeah, it's all the way down the way. You can get blue eyes to be cartoon accurate, but again, I played for the Cybertron before I got this toy. So, so I just really like Grimlock with the red eyes. Hold on a second. It's always harder to pull this thing up than it is to push it down. Excuse me. Come on. Again, that's the key word for today. Just me going, come on. And this is actually really hurting my fingernails. Come on. Stupid. <clears throat> now forget it. I'll just leave it. Oh, that actually really hurt. But like I said, it's easier to pull that switch down for the blue visor than it is to pull it up to get the red visor. But but, but again, nice big and bulky robot. You've got you've got a lot of moldy detail underneath that chest because Grimlock apparently always had an asymmetrical chest. And then going down, you've got silver on the thighs, big, huge. I, I, I want to say, I basically want to say these are his knuckle dusters, I want to say. Then they've got, you've got, his, they've got his black thighs, his red underpants. And these and these big huge feet with the blue, red, and green for some reason. And then on the back you got uh, some extra like those detailings I forgot to show off. Just the gum metal gray and the red that looks dude, that just looks really good on this guy. Just an overall solid looking robot. Uh, and you got a ball joint in the shoulder or first ball joint in the head so he can look around. Me Grimlock. Sorry if that sounded wrong. Then you got the bicep swivel, uh, plenty of uh, range of the elbow in spite of his bulk. That that works really well. Uh, wrist can rotate, and so so can this one as well. Even though this has the electronics in it. Uh, here you got a waist swivel, though it's hampered by all this butt flap. Uh, back and forth, in and out, fire swivel. Uh, a decent, decent bend at the knee before the, before uh, the inner kibble chunks start getting in the way. And then you got a good uh, ankle tilt with this, with an actually, uh, with a moving tendon of sorts, and you know can go up and down as well. So, yeah, really dig the robot mode on this guy. He is big. He is lovely. He is bulky. Now onto weaponry. He got he of course comes with his uh, with his sword, but uh, the thing is I can only really plug it into the right hand now because, as you can see, the uh, if I can get it right, yeah, there's there was supposed there's supposed to be a peg right next to the handle. It snapped off basically, and it snapped off when I when I was holding it in this hand because basically if it had the peg it would just sit there it would just. If I could just open the hand real quick, it will just sit there and he'd hold it just fine. But because the peg snapped off in there, I can no longer have it in there. But it, I think it looks better in his right hand anyway. Weird thing, I'm apodextrous and yet I like people to hold things with their right hand. Is that me? Is that just me? Is that a common thing? And of course, for additional weaponry, he has his, uh, his double barrel laser pistol, which, uh, you know, has that same peg on the side so it can fit in there but again due to the fact that the hole is kind of blocked up it can't really sit flush in there so i mean i could just about get it to balance in there but yeah but now on to the best accessory of all he has his little tiny crown which he had in the comics i believe um what was it was it the UK comics or the American comics? He had him in the comics at one point because he was actually the leader of the Autobots because he did not like Optimus, which is something that does carry over in other media. Hang on, I'm gonna try and try pulling up this light up. Oh, more times for my fingernails to suddenly get short. Hang on, let me let me try actually flipping it up with the sword. I'm sorry this is taking taking a huge chunk of the chunk of the video and there we go just put the slot back in there 
There we are. I, I just like having the red visor more, and it actually really works well with um, with the crown, which just sits on his head like so. Yeah, this that looks good, don't it? And it actually really does come with the look of the guy, give, give, him, give him a much more regal appearance. Uh, he just, this guy just really does exuber. What am I saying? He embodies just general hardness and badassery, which I want out of my Grimlock. Grimlock, I think Grimlock should always be the big burly badass with a bizarre speech impediment. And you know, so long, so so long as they stop, stop making him the general goofball, I'll be fine. Still, that is that for Master Grimlock. It is a magnificent thing. Um, I have nothing else to say. This video was almost 16 minutes long. I will see you again later.